is Laura Paget from the Swim England Learn to Swim team. We've been getting super excited about the run-up to the Tokyo Olympics this summer and we've put together some games that we think you will enjoy taking to your lessons. So why not try the Olympic ring game? Super simple for any stages to get involved with this one. Set out a number of goals that represent the Olympic rings and find various items, small size balls, larger size balls, where your swimmers have to be challenged to get the balls from a starting point to one of the Olympic rings. This is really good for your swimmers to work on that travel and coordination. Maybe your older stages can link that to some of their treading water and their water safety skills as well. Hi guys, Dave Rayner here from the Learn to Swim team at Swim England. Bringing other sports into a swimming lesson can be great fun, so why don't you have a go at aquatic athletics? With that game, you bring all the athletics activities into the pool. For example, when they're getting into the water, you can have a go at doing a long jump or high jump, or even they can have a go at doing a pole jump by using a noodle to get, help themselves get into the water. When they're in the water, you can set up a circuit so they can simulate running around a track. And if they're in the shallow end, you can do things like running or skipping or jumping. If they're in the deep end, you can swim around in a circuit or even have a go at aqua running. And if you want to make it tricky, you could put some hurdles in the water by using noodles or any type of sinking hurdles you may have available to yourself. Other things you can do are throwing events. You can do a javelin using a noodle. You could use a float as a discus. Today we're going to be talking about Olympic shapes, which is a game where we encourage your learners to make shapes associated with Olympics. So can they float and uh, balance in the shape of the mobile? or Usain Bolt's classic pose. You can make it as hard or as simple as you want, depending on the stage, age, and ability of your learners. Now, this game that I'm gonna talk about is better for your higher stages, but it can be adapted and used for any stage of course. Now, this one's called our cross country game. And the idea is that our older swimmers, our stages six and seven, are going to work in pairs through an obstacle course. However, they must choose a country's flag to take with them. This can be something as simple as a laminated visual of that flag, and they can pop it on a float, but between the pair, they must keep hold of this flag the whole way through the obstacle course. This is great for your swimmers to be engaged in a range of core aquatic skills. And of course they can be rewarded as well with one of our blank achievement awards. Relay races are really important, not only in swimming, but across other sports at the Olympics, such as athletics. Therefore, we thought it'd be fun for you to bring a relay race into one of your swimming lessons. It can be really versatile because the swimmers could swim across the pool, but they could also travel or they could move across the pool by walking or skipping. You could use items such as floats or sinking rings as the batons. And we use different core aquatic skills such as traveling or rotation and coordination. 